I may not be the world's fastest fish filleter, but I've been doing it long enough. I've developed my own technique and it works pretty well. No bones, clean fillets. Got a yellowfin whiting caught here yesterday. Not a big fish, but nice size for the table. I'm going to show you how I take the fillets off. It's not fast, but it's accurate. All right, we'll start with the knife just above the dorsal fin and run it from the head all the way down towards the tail. Then come back for a second cut and gradually roll the fillet over, running the knife along the backbone. You feel the knife skipping over the backbone and then up here you feel it skipping down over the ribs. Just keep rolling that fillet over and then you must cut downwards, not too much of a horizontal angle, cut vertically down alongside the ribs. This will minimise the amount of flesh that you lose and keep the fillet nice and whole. Right, I can still feel my knife running across those ribs, gradually opening the fillet up until it's all but open. I then just run my knife down along the bottom towards the tail and off comes a perfect fillet of yellowfin white. Not a big fillet, but it'll be sweet on the table. Scrape, it, scrape off any little bits left there. Now, the, the second part of the process, and this is important, is removing those pin bones down the middle. You can feel them as you rub your finger along the bones. You can feel the tops of the bones. You take your knife and make an angled cut on one side, then an angled cut across the other side, and that peels off. There are the bones. There's nothing left in there except good, clean flesh. There we have it. A perfect yellowfin whiting fillet ready for the crumbs or the batter in the fry pan. Absolutely sensational.